Hi guys, in today's video we're working on some very simple animation, very simple splash screen animations using Loti and some implicit animation with Flutter. The animation looks something like the video on my screen right now. So this will be our finished product. So to get started, I already created the UI design on this which is displayed on the simulator right now and all we have to do now is to just add the animation to it so you can see i already wrote the code this is the code for the white top container the image and the cafe test then we have the bottom part which is which is um text here find best copy coffee for you then lorem ipsum and the circle button right here so to get started we need to add our lottie animation so the lottie animation which is this right here is already i already added it to the assets which is this it's a json file so we have to add the lottie package to our pop spec so go ahead add lottie So when we run, run this, we get the animation on the screen, but of course, not the way we want. We still need to do some tweaking. So first of all, we need to add a controller to our Lotti animation. So we can actually control when it stops and when it starts. So to do that, we need to convert our widget to a stateful widget and Add a um, Zika provider mixing state mixing to it. Then we can create our animation animation controller animation controller. Let's call it um the coffee controller for example. Fee. Now to so our image states. In the states, you can mission controller. This this now we can add this try adding this controller to our lots of widgets so controller public controller and then unload it I want to make sure it starts the animation starts immediately the lot of file has been loaded We control the duration. Forward. Basically, what is what this piece of code is saying is that we want to start our animation. First of all, we assign. Uh, we change the. The duration of the coffee controller, duration of the Lottie or the Lottie animation, and then we we start the animation immediately. So now we like to stop the animation at a particular point where, um, because this animation is repeating right now, we like to stop it at a particular point like this point where the where the cup is just there, still. So we need to add for this one to add um. A listener mm -hmm. 
coffee animation coffee controller dot stop so now if you restart this the after a while the lotti animation is going to stop which should be at this point so now it stops here which is perfect because this is exactly where we need it to stop and then the next thing next thing basically would be to kind of replace this lotti animation with an image you might be thinking why because um, the lotti animation is actually very big and we can't really crop it so instead instead of going through all the trouble of trying to crop it we just basically replace it with an image which is this coffee peak right here so to do that i'm going to put a boolean call it uh, animated cafe which basically says which of the tells us if the coffee lottie animation has finished or has completed or not so sorry um i call it cop animated that's a better name so after this stops right here just to cop animated is put to true and then set states of course also we shouldn't forget to dispose our animation controller So now what we can do, we use a visibility widget on both the Lottie and then the image. So visible visible if the cop animation is not finished and then visible if the cop animation has finished so we can restart this and see how that's going to go okay yeah that's 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 pretty good so uh, I, I feel like the next thing to do here will be to animate this container, this white container, to make sure it goes from full screen to half screen right now. So to do that, we're going to use the same coffee and the, the cup animated variable. We're going to be using an animated con container here. Duration, we'll make the duration one second, one second. So all we, all we need to do is the height. If we, if we change the height, the animated container automatically animates once you give it values. So if the cup is animated, then it should use the half screen. But if, if it's still animating, then we want it to be full screen, which is screen, screen height. I created the screen height variable here, which is a media query size height. So when we restart this, get something like this. As you can see, it's getting better and better. Then the next thing to do would be to animate the cafe text. So for this, we're going to be using animated opacity. Grab the text. Music. Enter the opacity. So the thing with the cafe text is it's it animates after almost all the animation has, has finished. After the cup has been animated, the container has been animated. That's when we need that's when we need the cafe text to animate. So for this, I would like to create another boolean. Call it animates 
Kaffee, Text, False, Kaffee, Text, yep. So after everything has finished, we can add uh, a future delayed here. So one second. Animate cafe text is true. I'm going to set states. So go back to animated opacity. I'm going to add opacity here. So animate cafe text one. So if the animate cafe text is, is true, then we want opacity to be one. If not, we want it to be zero. One means it should show, zero means it should disappear. Then we add our duration. The duration is going to be one second as usual. Okay, so I'm going to just down to have it somewhere else. So let's start again and see how it goes. okay that's pretty smooth and then the next thing is if you notice the text the best um find best coffee for you text is actually displaying here you need to hide that while the container is animating so you can wrap this in visibility so it should only be visible if the Copper's been animated, so we use the cop animated variable here. And voila, we have our animation, but there's still a catch. Our um our border radius, the border radius, it's not showing because the emulator has rounded edges. But if you take a screenshot now, you see that the border radius is there even when even when the white container is full so we need to change this basically use the crop animated And now our animation is complete. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.